Hey guys, first of all, thank you for clicking on my video. So, all this time I'm using all my Z cell or all my ZSTs or whatever you call it uh, to configure my Z cell. And lately I decided to completely move away from using all my ZSTs uh, because I want to have a nice clean looking ZSHRC, right? And it looks cool if it's clean, right? <laughs> so, uh, I was pretty satisfied with my uh, new CSRC that I made here, but there is one thing that I miss from uh, the old all my CSH feature, and it is the Git prompt. So, <coughs> sorry. Uh, so before, uh, when you uh, cd into a directory that has a Git repository inside. Uh, or a git remote uh, folder right you will get uh, a nice info in this in the dim uh, the dim that is for it uh, that will show you that which brands are you inside and uh, uh, what uh, what is the status of that repository whether it's clean dirty or you modified something you deleted something or whatever the shit you made into the directory it will show you the nice info right so I looked into the oh my Z cell uh, library uh, library and uh, it's inside git.zsh and you can see that it gives me all the functions that I need and I can call it uh, into my pr uh, custom prompt uh, uh, to get it working but I think uh, after looking at this, I think it's uh, quite a big file here, and and it is <coughs> the way it checks uh, for dirty or clean. It is using uh, like this com this command here. Git config uh, get all my this hits uh, dot high dirty. I don't know what is it, uh, and I think they are getting something from their own uh, function there. So I decided to uh, move for <coughs> uh, find something else, right? So there are three other projects that looks like this I found. The first one is from Olivier Ferdier, and this one is quite quite good and it's simple. You can see that it's like just like this simple, and it gives you everything that you want to know. But the code is rather big. It is using yeah, uh, it's written using uh, uh, Python and Haskell here, and I don't know much about this uh, script. I don't understand what are they doing. They're using uh, Haskell here. It's uh, really weird. Um, not weird. Uh, I'm not very familiar with this code, so I just move away. And then I found another one. This one is very good. You can see that it's simple. Uh, it's only uh, 68 lines of codes and it's simple and it shows me everything that I want but there is a problem that I found that it's too simple and it's not uh, to my liking and then uh, you cannot modify so much in this in this in this one here so so I decided to find something else and uh, there's another one that is by Ariel Don Martini and this is the one that I like the most you can see that it is so nice you look at this dim right it's so beautiful and and everything is so nice and clean and the l the code is not that big there is only there are only two two here and the base one is all you need the prom is the team that uh, you can make your own but the problem is that this this one here requires me to use a uh, a power line uh pads phones so it was it is not uh, working if you don't have those uh, these phones right awesome awesome terminal phones and power line 
as said Brian I don't really like to get so much uh, shit inside my uh, my system I don't want to mess with too much stink that I will f just forget so at the end of the <coughs> day I decided uh, why not I just make my own and I want to make it simple and why I want it to not require a power line phones I want it to not looking that plain and this is what I end up with so this is the problem when you are uh, not inside your uh, github repository right uh, your git sorry not github your git repository if you are inside uh, your local folder uh, your ordinary folder it will always you this prom is a normal prom with a date on the right side and if I see the into a github folder that I have uh, I'm going to go to dot files here and you can see that the time is gone and it now shows me this one here so it shows me a check mark means uh, it's clean and this master means that I'm in the master branch of my locker repository and in this ahead and behind arrow this this uh, left and right arrows mean that uh, left is behind and right is ahead so I'm going to demo uh, to you guys how it uh, how it works right so for example I'm going to um, add a file here uh, so for example task and I'll just do something like this and and then I'll quit and you can see there is a star red star symbol here and what is this I'm going to zoom this unit so that you guys can see it more clearly so this stars uh, this star symbol means that uh, there's an unfrag file if you do a git status and you can see that there is a file that I have uh, is untrack and it's named test and what we just made before so this is a this means that uh, there is a untrack file so I'm going to git at his this file right so now you can see that there is a plus means I have added something and then this smiley face means that I am ready to commit so uh, and it's showing me clean again okay, uh, guys so before it's cleaned and uh, now it's still clean I'm going to make it dirty guys so I have git add and then I'm going to modify that file say pass oh pass glibberies oops sorry I haven't typed uh, is right and you can see that now it's dirty and it shows me that a pencil signs and an add sign that means I have added a file I have added it and I edited it I modified it and it's now dirty because I haven't I haven't committed it before I uh, modify this file so I'm going to git commit and um, uh, like this and now you can see that git status it shows me that I modified a file that and I have committed uh, the one that I added before but I haven't committed the one that I modified so now it's showing me that uh, there is a modified file and it's still dirty and there is a one commit a hat from the uh, remote repository that means that I haven't pushed it to my remote repository yet so I am one step ahead right clear this first yes okay so now uh, what else can we do here uh, I'm going to remove that file that task file and now it shows me that uh, an X sign here that means that I have removed a file and I haven't do things about it yet so you can see I deleted it I have to check out or or remove that file in my github repository right so I'm going to git rm test now it's showing me that this this minus signs and it's green it means that I have deleted my uh, 
file from my local repo repository but not uh, deleted on my remote repository yet so my remote is still I need to push this now and you can see the smiley face means that I can push it to the remote repository after this one is done uh, of course I'm not gonna commit this one so I think you got what I I'm doing here right uh, so uh, it is what it is and it uh, there is something else that I can do with it but I think uh, just this one is enough you can actually you guys can you guys can uh, look into my uh, repository you can just get this file there is uh, an installation mm, installation guide here it's very simple and you don't need anything you just you just uh, git clone this and put this inside your zshrc source you source it, source it to wherever you you clone uh, this repository and there is nothing else you can uh, you need to do you just uh, don't forget you have to remove the current prom you have just by commenting them out and that's all guys and you can use this code for free and give me a suggestion or question if you want uh, more if you want to uh, ask anything and you can customize this uh, this prom actually it's very customizable I have made all these all these uh, local local variable for you guys just to just to modify it so if for example you want to change the branch name symbol so right now I'm using this this bracket you can just change it you can change the color you can change the symbol color you can change the symbol this is the symbol of modification uh, everything you need is here but uh, uh, there, is, there are some future plans that I want to make that uh, this date color but I haven't make it to be able for you guys to change to so anything else than date but I will do it in the future is in my future plane and I will make an install script automatically for you guys it's not that hard to implement this one and I will simplify the way to modify the color I will make uh, all these colors very easy to mm, configure if I can and is uh, I want some statuses like detach hat are not as supported so uh, for example you are uh, your your head is detached because you uh, you have a conflicting conflicting uh, con commits commits it will just show you that you are a head and this this one will be gone because I haven't implemented that yet but I don't think I'm going to do that because uh, I don't want to be having this code too complicated guys uh, I do this for three days and I just uh, I just think there is no need for me to do this kind of thing because this is all I need I don't need that much and alright guys uh, thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this video and please give me a like uh, if you like this video and subscribe if you want more videos from me and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day, guys.